According to the survey that I sent, uh, most people don't have watercolor paints at home, but a lot of people have some other things that they might be able to use uh, for painting. So I made this video to show some examples of different things that you can use for painting. So obviously this first bit here is uh, just regular watercolor paint and um, you know if you do have watercolor at home uh, you might choose to use it. Um, some people mentioned they had acrylic or tempera or gouache or other types of paint um, and if you're choosing to do some painting uh, any of those are great. If you do want to do watercolor though, because we do a lot of watercolor in class and it's something that's familiar and you're already probably comfortable with it, but you don't have watercolor paints at home, one alternative is to start with a regular watercolor marker. So it's a water-based marker. Any Crayola marker, usually uh, Prang brand markers, um, pretty much anything uh, that's not like a stinky marker will be water soluble so you don't want to use something like a sharpie or an alcohol marker um, but any of the typical markers that you might have at home uh, can be blended with water so if you have a brush you can use a brush if you don't have a brush there's some other options as well um, one thing that works is a q-tip so just a, a simple household item if you're using a q-tip you want to keep it nice and wet and you want to move uh, with a very gentle touch so that you're not um, rubbing your paper too hard. You can get those little white spots, those little pilly things. We don't want those. So be really gentle if you're using a Q-tip. Same thing here. You could take a piece of paper towel, fold it up and twist it tightly to a point, and then dip that point in water. And again, you wanna get that nice and wet and really move gently um, over the surface of your paper. The paper towel is even a little bit more abrasive than a Q-tip. So you want to just really have a gentle touch if you're using paper towel as an alternative to a paintbrush. Again, the tighter you make that tip, you're going to get um, a little bit more control. So you do want to really give it a good twist when you fold and then twist up that paper towel. Another alternative is chalk pastel. Um, oil pastel is not really an option here, but chalk pastel or even a regular piece of chalk, colored chalk, uh, will also be water soluble. So you can blend it again using a paintbrush if you have a paintbrush. Or a Q-tip if you have Q-tips. Or again, uh, just a regular piece of paper towel, twist it up to a tight point, moving gently, of course. 